the industrialization of agricultural high yielding variety of crops helps india to become second largest paddy producer and the world largest sugar producer it shows the development of india economy the reason behind this is a woman named ek janaki amman she was known as mother of the botany in india janaki amman was born in 1897 the tenth in the blended family of 19 brothers and sisters in Talaseri, Kerala. She obtained a bachelor degree from Queen Mary's College and an honors degree in botany from Presidency College, Madras. Through Barber Scholarship at the University of Michigan in the years where she obtained her master degree in 1925. Ammal was arguably the first woman to obtain a PhD in botany in the US she evolved a cross known as janaki bengal bengal being the indian name for a plant her phd thesis title chromosome studies in nikendra phyzoloids was published in 1932 meanwhile many people researched why india sugar is not much sweeter than others Dr. Katie Achaya, an eminent food historian, written in his book The Indian Food: A Historical Companion, that our can were not sweet as those from the far east. They had, however, robust taste. The sweetest sugar can come from Papua New Guinea, and termed Sakaram Asitinaram, also called Noble Can. It migrated northwest to Asia. The freedom fighter and scholar Pandit Madan Mohan Malaviya has suggested in 1910 that we in India should do botanical work to sweeten our own varieties called Sakaram Spontanum. This led to start of sugarcane breeding station at Coimbatore. After her doctorate, Janaki returned to India and worked as a geneticist at the Sugarcane Breeding Institute, Coimbatore, along with C. A. Barber. Her work during these years included cytogenetic analysis of Sakaram spontanum as well as generation of several intergeneric crosses such as Sakaram Z, Sakaram Zarkam. After laborious cross breeding in laboratory she created the indigenous varieties of sweetened sugar cane that we consume today but her thirst towards science is never stopped her eminent work in cytogenetics of interspecific and intergeneric hybrid involves sugar cane and related grass species and genera such as bamboo were epochal During the World War II bombings in 1940s, she continued her phenomenal research into chromosome of thousands of species of flowering plants at the John Inner Horticultural Institute. She is the best remembered for co-authoring the monumental work Chromosome Atlas of a Cultivated Plant along with C.D. Darlington. On the invitation of Jawaharlal Nehru, she returned to India in 1951 to reorganize the Botanical Survey of India. She was appointed as officer on special duty to the PSI on 14th October 1952. She served as the Director General of BSI. She lived and worked in the center field laboratory at Madura Oil near Madras until her demise in February 1984. Her obituary states, she was devoted to her studies and research until the end of her life. She also received a honor from the government of India conferred the Bhatmashri on her 1977. Environment and Forestry of Government of India instituted the National Award of Taxonomy. Not only awarded, many plant species carry her name. 
ending with her quote for my inspirational women my work is what will survive